Bloody hell, headline after headline after headline, fucking hell. This is the most maddest Champions League journey ever, man. Pain in the fucking hell for Chelsea fans, but they put up a hell of a good fight, man. They were winning at one moment, they were going to qualify for that moment, and out of nowhere, Vinicius Jr., Benzema, panicked. Patterned it. They came back in. They were at the brink of being eliminated. They said, nope, not today. Thanos is here. Fine, I'll do it myself. Wow, what a game, man, of football. Champions League classics, man. That was Champions League classic, man. That was the most craziest game I've ever seen in my life, I swear. 3-2 Chelsea versus Real Madrid, but Real Madrid qualify from aggregate on aggregate. 5-4 on aggregate, wow. And yeah, the other game as well was incredible as well. By unit, they had the chance to qualify, man. Well, to take it to extra time, more like. They did have chances though, quite a few chances, yeah. But Villarreal just showing their fucking determination that they've won it the most, man. I forgot the net player's name, Chawauzi. How do you pronounce it? He scores an 88th minute goal that puts Villarreal into the semi finals. How is this team? Been so unbelievable this season. They are the fairy tale team. I said to my friend in college, yeah, Villarreal are gonna win the Champions League. You know what he said? He said, Don't say that, don't say that, bro. But you know what? If I'm right, bro, man, you know what? Let me say it here Villarreal are gonna win the Champions League. Hear me out. I said it right there. I said it right now. I'm telling you, I just said it. I said it. I said it. Even if I'm wrong, I don't care. But if I'm right, hmm. You know what I'm saying, fam? You know what I'm saying, G? Yeah, man. What's the player's name? It won't scroll down. Samuel. Chukwuzi, Chukwuzi, Chukwuzi. I don't know how to pronounce it, but yeah, I'll, I'll show you, man. Villarreal versus Bayern, one-one. Samuel Chukwuzi. Is the other game. Look at these fucking stats. Three-one, twenty shots. Five on target, Real Madrid eight shots, five on target, but they got Oh wrong game, what am I doing? It's this one. Flipping heck, look at those stats. Twenty eight shots by Chelsea, ten from Real, four on target from Real, seven on target for Chelsea. Wow. This has just been an incredible time, man. Tomorrow we got Liverpool and Benfica. So honestly, man, this Champions League has just been fucking incredible, man. Flipping heck, man. Wow. I don't know who's going to win it. I don't know. Villarreal, they look like the fairy tale team. I'm telling you, man. They're not even the fucking fourth best team in La Liga. They're literally seventh in La Liga. They're risking it. They're playing their best players for the Champions League. And they're playing like a, a, a third, second choice goalkeeper. And different players just in Villarreal's La Liga campaign in general. That's why they're drawing and losing games in La Liga. It shows they're Risking it all for the Champions League. It looks like they want it. But tomorrow, if Liverpool beat Benfica, I'm not going to say it comfortably because we don't know what happens. The Champions League is unpredictable. 
in many cases it is very unpredictable like i saw the Bayern unit fans yeah on the comments saying yeah oh we're gonna smack them 5-1 7-1 did that happen no how can you even say that if you're saying they're gonna be villarreal 7-1 you do not watch fucking football mate oh my dear you're so tapped if you say that they literally blocked every single shot from Bayern unit basically every shot the only shots that were on target was Musiala's header, but to a slight deflection of Albiol. Like, to get a shot versus Villarreal on target, it's literally like, I say, 12%. It's literally so tiny, man. They are, like, so defensive. Oh, my words. They're like... Pau Torres, man, he's incredible. Albiol, they're so good, man. They just know how to play football, all of them. And yeah, Bayern Munich had a lot of chances, but they failed to capitalise. They took off Hernandez, don't know why, but it is what it is. Lewandowski was not happy at all. Musiala, that was a big head of miss. Oh, if that was in the corner, then it would have been another story. But yeah, what a game that was, man. Incredible. Forgot his score for Bayern. Again, it was it Hernandez. Who scored for Bayern? Because I don't even remember. Yeah, it doesn't even say, but oh well. It was it was Hernandez, I swear. I don't know. And yeah, I guess that's the end of the video. Wow. All well, game from both sides, man. Honestly. Chelsea were even close to scoring at the end. Havertz missed a header. Ziyech had a shot. And then, I can't remember who went for the follow at the end. I think it was Reese James went wide. Edward Mendy came out, which is mad. Six foot five, Edward Mendy. Can you believe he's six foot five? Jeez, he's massive. And yeah, that's the end of the video. Like, subscribe, comment, share.